Okay, Cancer. So this is just a general spread for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to start with this one. Um, whatever, whatever comes out, guys, okay? What would you like Cancer to know? Sun, Moon, and Rising. What is going on with my hair today, guys? Train wreck over here. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And I will be dressing up for Halloween, probably by next week, maybe the readings will get a little more entertaining. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, shit, Cancer already with the tower? What's going on? What's Cancer not allowing to happen? It's not just you involved. You and somebody else. Oh, geez. Oh, geez, not moving forward. Not moving forward, not letting somebody know you need to move forward, not not expressing the fact that you need something to come to an end. You've lost your passion. You don't want to make this, this mistake anymore. Everything seems like you're not manifesting what you want. You may have been involved with a, a wa another fellow water sign or you're turning your back on somebody or they're just not giving you what you need. There's a lack of balance here. There's absolutely no growth. Um, you want to move, you want to get out of here, but you're feeling sort of trapped by the situation. The number six is relevant to some of you. I don't, if you were planning on moving, I don't see the move happening. It's been stalled or, or put on the back burner for right now. Um, I feel like you, um, you still will do it. I still think that you'll do it. It's just not happening right now, okay? Um, you're not feeling like yourself. You've, you're shutting people out of your life. You might be visiting the ocean, for those of you that live near the ocean. Um, if not, you're going to the aquarium. Healing from something. Something that you kind of like... This would have been something that you just sort of... Um, you You neglected to face the reality of it, okay? And then when the time came, you were like, shit, it's time to move on. And I think they wanna move on as well, to be honest with you. The communication is, is gonna come. The number eight is more relevant as well, or more relevant, and number eight is relevant as well. Um, don't shut down now. It's okay to move on, four and eight. Four and eight is relevant. 48, four, eight, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, let's get another deck here. Somebody's thinking about taking a boating trip or might be on their boat to get away. fourth month is something you're shutting down you're shutting down emotionally you're waiting for somebody to have some sort of apology or to say something worthwhile to you um you're not gonna hear from them they're just tar completely turning their back on this situation um there will be no celebration here there'll be no reconciliation there'll be no um Looks like you're kind of going hermit mode, to be honest with you. You're seeing a very slow process right now. You're feeling like, like you haven't gotten everything that you wanted. Right around the corner, right around the corner, when you are fully single, because I don't think all of you are single yet. I think you're going through something. Um, if you are completely single, do I think somebody's on their way? Yes. And for those of you that are going to be single shortly, I don't think you're going to hate it. I don't. There will be a lot of options. <clears throat> Whoever wronged you in the past or whoever it didn't work out with, I feel like karma's on your side, okay? So whatever you couldn't get from this person, you will get from the next person. You're gonna get somebody who just like gushes over you, who really like wants to heal you, who really wants to be a part of your life. Um, I'm seeing golden to auburn hair. Um, oh, like a longer face. 
This person would have a lot of balance, but just be careful because it's gonna be a very codependent relationship. Um, if your past person comes back, nope, absolutely not. Finances are looking good. You may go into uh, business with somebody. If not into business with somebody, the person that you meet next, you could end up having some sort of business venture with. Um, it's saying that you are currently putting money away for something. Tell me more about what's going on with cancer, please. Sun, moon, and rising. <clears throat> what else is going on with cancer? Cancer, you're finding your passion again. It's going to be slow. It's going to be slow. I also think that you may meet somebody and it's one of those situations where you don't really think that they like you or you don't think it's going to go anywhere and it does lead to something worthwhile, um, something very passionate. They look like they're probably younger than you, but take it as it resonates. Uh, they were not looking for a long-term commitment. Ooh, there's more than one person here. Tell me about these people. There'll be somebody who's not looking for a long-term commitment that, that and then will want, will absolutely want it. Um, they'll be going through some sort of financial hardship, might be going through some sort of divorce and or they're being sued. Um, the other person, nope, this is still them. They're going through some some garbage you'll hear about it you're probably going to give them some really good advice or you're just going to be like a somebody to you know shoulder to cry on which is really good um the other person the other person i don't know they're wishy-washy they're wishy-washy um they're unsure how they feel about the situation. And I don't know, again, this could be work-related. It doesn't have to be romantic, but they're coming out as romantic. And you you will have to make some sort of decision. One of these people is your long-term commitment. For now. The energy saying long-term commitment leads to something like more serious, like moving in together. Give me a few more for cancer, please. Uh, Um, I do want to, I do want to, you know, I know I always hit the people that are going out of a relationship or romantically looking or like whatever. I do want to say for those that are involved, um, I think that you're, you and your partner may have some sort of like rekindling of a relationship where one of you, it so, sort of doesn't like really believe that, the, that there's going to be change. Um, and I think the change is temporary, so you have every right to feel that way. I don't think it's long-lasting change. Because I do see, you know, with the Ten of Swords here, you're going through yet another freaking heartbreak, another imbalance where you feel like they're just not really there with you. Even though we do have the King and the Queen here, we do have a partnership here, okay? Um, and, and you both do have emotions. I feel like one person's just not really getting what they need. They're not. And I do see um, some drinking going on, some some like like niceties going on, um, especially during this time of like arguments and like these these un unhappy conversations about where your relationship's gonna grow. Like again, whether you're already involved or you're going to be involved, just keep that in mind, okay? Um, because I do think somebody's gonna get hurt again again uh it's showing like skeletons in the closet like history repeating itself okay um so for those of you getting involved think of it this way yeah with no apology for those of you getting involved and this is not a story about a partner you already have your next person is going to remind you of the person that caused you a lot of anguish okay so do i think it's probably going to be long term yes do i think that this person will probably be hiding something so that when you guys do get long term you see like the red flags later yes yes i do um so keep that in mind when meeting this next person you might want to get to know them really well before you go too far with them um, and they're they're gonna try to hang on to you. 
cancer, they don't want to let you go. Like, you know, cancers are very nur nurturing, very kind and considerate, very motherly, um, whether you're a man or a, a woman. And, and this person knows that they can pretty much suck the life out of you. So keep that in mind. Anyway, um, I didn't see too much with the finances, but I didn't see anything negative with your finances. So hopefully that helps. Enjoy.